Hello everybody, welcome to our boss guide video for The Rotten from GamesRadar.com. I'm Ryan Telgenik. And I'm Lorenzo Valoria. And Lorenzo, this was the first great soul I acquired. And um, it looks like he has a lot of souls attached to him. <laughs> he is basically a pile of bodies. He's with a probably cleaver. my favorite boss design so far that I have. Uh, by this point, while we're recording this voiceover, he is probably the favorite boss I've encountered, just in terms of pure design. Um, he is just awesome looking. He's look at his bottom. There's all these dead bodies, like crawling around with their arms. That's yeah. how he moves. And he's got a cleaver that he now. There's a cinematic that starts this fight off, but the cleaver he pulls from inside of his body, like he just keeps it in there. And his eyes are freaking heads of dead bodies. Like uh, yeah, you can see like all of that stuff kind of coming together. Very grotesque. Very cool design. Um, and again, one of the very first uh, great souls that I I encountered at least. I'm mm -hmm. sure there are other pathways to get to others very quickly um, but to start off let's talk about starting equipment um, by this point I've been using pretty much the same thing for a while now I've got the the uh, stamina ring to increase stamina regen uh, I've got the ring of blades that you get from beating the pursuer to increase my physical attack damage right I'm also using um, of course the ring that oh god oh, that he's just ringing you dodge out. those grabs because that damn near kills you in one hit um, I'm also using the ring, of course, that uh, decreases the amount of HP that you lose by being in hollow or uh, by being in hollow form. And then I'm using a broadsword plus four, uh, the Drang Lake armor set, and the starting shield for the warrior class. Sweet. So it looks like uh, let's talk the basic strategy with this guy. He's yeah. got his massive cleaver, uh, which you'll definitely want to avoid because <laughs> uh, it seems to take off at least half of your health uh, every time he gets you. And then he you. spews acidic vomit that'll do a shit ton of damage to you. Don't get hit by that. Yeah. <laughs> or don't get hit by any yeah, of these yeah, attacks. Don't get hit by a now, lot. here's the thing. Um, circle strafing doesn't really work on this guy. Most of his attacks are very like wide sweeping uh, attacks that'll hit. Even if He's just so big that you can't really get around him in time to dodge him the way you would, say, the attacks from uh, the old Dragon Slayer. Mm -hmm. um, basically, all, what I had to do as a melee character is just get really good at learning the timing of his attacks and roll dodging them all because, he again, he's just too big to get around. Um, now, that being said, he's got very forgiving timers on uh, his whiffs. Like, you have a lot of time to get in at least two attacks or, uh -huh. or heal up if you need to. Um, and very rarely do his attacks have two parts to them or more. You know, for the most part, it's one giant swing he'll hit and uh, hopefully you dodge it and then you have time to heal up. Now, he does have that one. Yeah, attack. he has the, the, the chopping uh, double chop there. So Yeah, if he's doing a straightforward chop, assume that he's going to do it twice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes he only does it once. I think that often has to do... Uh, I think that's often dependent on how far away you are from him or if you're behind him, that sort of thing. Um, and as you saw, he also had that attack where he vomits toward you. Mm -hmm. uh, now, one thing you're really going to want to do while you're fighting this guy, make sure you kite him so that he's kind of in the middle of the room. Oh, yeah. So oh. also remember his double cleaver attack. Also, sometimes that turns into a three part where the third one is a giant sweep. Yeah. So whenever you're fighting a, a, a Dark Souls 2 a boss, just, you know, study their movements a little bit. Find out which... Uh, which attacks will chain into another attack, and you you just avoid those. <laughs> I, I I usually just back up all the way until I I am sure that they're gonna be hanging there uh, with a whiff. But mm -hmm. oh, there's this cough attack right yeah. there. So be sure. What I was saying was, kite him into the middle of the room because those fire pits. If he hits you, a lot of times he'll knock you into those, and while you're laying down in them, you'll take a shit ton of damage <laughs> and die. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you don't want to step in them either because they drain your health very quickly. So keep him in the middle of the room when he starts like hovering over one just you know kite back pull him back he'll follow you and then uh, just start pick back up with your regular strategy uh, and that really should be <laughs> all you need to beat him he's actually not that hard his uh, attacks are pretty easy to discern when the strike is going to happen mm -hmm. one of his sweeping attacks oh yeah definitely dodge. so he can apply his vomit to his cleaver for that one special move that'll basically one shot you so <laughs> be particularly wary of that um 
He does have one sweep attack that's kind of hard to tell because he has a slight delay in it. But, you know, just study the attacks, dodge them, and you'll be all set. And you get your first, or, you know, one of Depending the Depending on souls. when you fight this guy, you get one of the four great souls that you need cool. uh, to progress through the game. But that'll be all for our strategy of the Rotten. Um, be sure to check, subscribe to our channel if you want to check out more video uh, boss videos for Dark Souls 2. And, of course, check us out at gamesradar.com.